Hey, J Bros popping in here. I wanted to talk today about the hydraulic pump. Um, uh, Natster Live had a bunch of great comments on our hydraulic pumps for these CRTs, kind of how they function, and then also some comments on how a two stage pump. Um, functions and flow rates and then also how a guy Bob Payne turned a single stage pump and put a diverter on it and get extra flow so I'm just going to give you a quick explanation on uh, this is a quick view if you can read this this is what Natster Live um, had mentioned and I read this multiple times and I uh, took my thoughts to it and what I think um, and he's just got a bunch of really really good points here and a bunch of cool things that I wish I could experiment on and uh, uh, yeah but here's my two cents on what Nasser is talking about here and I think it's just all great points so basically we have a three-stage pump and how he explains it um let's just say there's 15 um gallons uh of flow per minute total in these pumps and let's say it's 14 but we'll just use 15 for easy math each one of these pumps here pumps five gallons per minute of flow well, there's still only a total of 15 gallons that the machine will pump. So what kind of sucks, as he explains, is the hydraulic attachment that you're trying to run, let's say like an auger, it's only able to get five gallons per minute out to that auger, and that's why it runs so slow. Also, that's why the machine goes slow is because it's only able to get out five gallons per minute to each track side to you know make it go faster so where he was kind of explaining that a two-stage pump which would be minus this one the two-stage would still get 15 gallons a minute cut that in half because there's two stages it basically be seven and a half gallons of flow to this pump speeding up the track and then seven and a half gallons of flow would go to your attachment, speeding up your auger, speeding up your trencher, or um, what they were talking about in that one was a, uh, a stump grinder. So I thought that was all pretty interesting. Now what he said that this Bob Payne did, and I looked all over YouTube, I couldn't couldn't find his link, otherwise I would have linked it to this. But what he did is he took a single stage motor or excuse me, a single stage pump, which is 15 gallons, and then put a diverter on it and diverted whatever flow he was wanting. I think, let's just say, he was getting five gallons of flow to the tracks, and then he was able to get 10 gallons of flow to the attachment, which I thought was super interesting. Also, this whole this whole uh, thing with the CRT or any of these um, mini skids that we need to go like faster, yeah, I mean, if you're trying to just drive across your yard and get to something that you're trying to do, maybe you'd want to go faster. I don't see it. I mean, I've put on a ton of hours with this. Yeah, there's slight instances where you'd like to go faster. But for the details, what these machines do, I think it goes just fine. I'm not saying it couldn't go a mile per, mile per hour faster, but that's not really my concern. And then also... With having more flow and stuff, I've proven and other people have proven this will run an auger. And if it runs an auger pretty good, yeah, it's slow, but it still drills the hole and less speed. If you hit something, you hit a rock, whatever, it's going to let you know and it's going to stop the machine before it wrecks stuff. Um, same thing I would say for uh, like a four in one bucket, it's no big deal because it doesn't require that much flow. Um, I'm looking into a brush broom. To pick that up now that might kind of suck for 
for this machine with that much flow because I think the flow on a brush broom that it needed is like like 10 uh, gallons per minute. So a slow broom might suck where a two-stage pump would be better. But uh, the other thing he was talking that would be insanely fun to do is if like, I'm just talking a CRT now, it could be any skid, but I looked at uh, putting a 40 horsepower motor in here. They got like a 35 or a 36 horsepower um, Duromax, I think. So imagine if a guy put a 35 horsepower motor in here and then what he was explaining in his comment, which you can see, is have a 5 by 5 by 10 hydraulic pump because he said you'd need the 40 horsepower basically and then that pump and then he said you need the uh, a bigger hydraulic tank. Well, we got room to put a bigger hydraulic tank in here and it's like, God, that would be insanely fun if there was somebody that was frustrated with the CRT and his engine blew and just said, I'm done with it. Well, shoot, I would love to get a hold of one of those that I could buy for like a thousand bucks and put a $2,000 40 horsepower engine in, in it, a uh, bigger pump, and then get a, a bigger hydraulic uh, system in here. And then you could run your track a little bit faster and you could run your hydraulics and stuff a little bit faster. But uh, that that's where it just uh, really brought out my curiosity uh, what... What could we do with what we've got to make this better? My personal opinion, I love just thinking outside the box how Natster is here because that's probably the most information and educational stuff that I saw related to the hydraulic pumps. Please, please comment down below if you know more about pumps, um, what a guy could do or couldn't do because his comments uh, I, just got me thinking about the possibilities. With that being said, I can run my auger just fine. It's obviously not as fast as a guy would like it to be, but it does do the job. I believe like a trencher, it will not run that super fast either, but you don't really want like a trencher going super fast because you, the, the kind of the faster you go, you start hitting stuff. You know, we're not dealing with a big, big skid. I mean, if you catch something, you're going to tweak, twist or anything. You kind of want to know if you're, I just think you want to go slow. Um, but like I said, for a brush room, and then, uh, like I said, what they were mentioning with the uh, stump grinder, uh, I don't know. That seems like it would kind of suck because you also need to sway um, your your grinder, and then you also need to turn the grinder, plus you also kind of need to move the skid. Uh, I'd just go rent, <laughs> I'd go rent a stump grinder, a stand behind one. Uh, I think they're like, I rented one for a guy for like a hundred bucks or 150 bucks for three days when I ground some stumps. But um, for this particular unit, it doesn't sound like a stump grinder would be all that great for it. You'd probably want some, you know, bobcat or bigger rig like that. But um, yeah, I guess that's all I have on this. Like I said, holler at me with some comments. Um, but that's what I know is how this three-stage pump functions. Five gallons per minute, five gallons per minute, five gallons per minute. You know, obviously, let's just say this one is for the for the front flow here. Let's just say this one is for the other flow here. And, you know, let's just say that's for the tracks. But, uh, yeah, I just think it's kind of interesting. I wanted to get that out to you. Um, yeah, please like, subscribe, comment down below. J-Bro's out.